Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I have previously done a video on the Cobra Terminator, but I didn't have a chance to shoot one. And so, apparently, I'm something of a masochist, because uh, when one of you guys, when one of our viewers, offered to loan me one to do some shooting with, I said, yes, I would absolutely do that. And I sent him FFL information, and then I thought to myself, why on earth would I have done that? Well, anyway, um, I did recently have a chance to do some shooting with a Mag-7, a Techno Arms Mag-7, with its proper ammunition, and came to the conclusion that while it's not a particularly good shotgun or a particularly good idea, it's not horrible. Uh, and so that leaves open the, the position of what really is the worst shotgun out there ever. And I suspect the Terminator is probably going to fit that role. So these were made by Cobra in the 80s. To be entirely honest, I still don't really understand why. Uh, the only thing that this fulfills in the market is like the this 14 year old Lamborghini sort of poster on the wall kind of appeal of boy it looks mean and evil uh, and I suspect that when you're shooting at it, it will feel mean and evil as well uh, just for the record to point out it does have a collapsing stock with no good cheek weld uh, I am told that with heavy loads in particular, the stock will tend to collapse in on its own and bust you in the face with the rear of the receiver. We're not going to try that out today. It has a front sight, a very crude front sight. It has no rear sight. And of course, it's a slam fire gun. So I have to depress this lock, pull the thing forward, and then when you fire it, the barrel slams backward and fires. This is all a recipe for a really awful gun and I don't understand why anyone would want one but that won't stop me from trying one so one question is when you're using this will the shells actually just fall out the back and there is actually a little there's a little lever in there that does appear to prevent the shells from falling out the back if you're say aiming it upwards that's helpful, I guess. Um, and it does have a safety notch in it like a submachine gun. Um, so you can prevent it, make sure it's not going to drop and slam your finger. All right, I guess I can't put this off any further. So, well, that's uh, less than spectacular. It did lock. That's awesome. There's only the tiniest of dimples on that primer. The breech block is screwed all the way in, which uh, is what positions the firing pin. Let's try another round. Put this in a safe position. Snap it all the way in there. All right, let's try this again. Jeez, that's unpleasant. Let's try this one more time. we go. Again, uh, a bit less than totally impressive. Another little teeny dimple. We'll give this one more try. I think I have another one of the white ones. This was the super patriotic red, white, and blue Federal El Cheapo shotgun ammo. There we go into the fire position. Gah! That actually hurts. Uh, I'm not used to guns that actually physically hurt, that aren't, like, really big. That's just really obnoxiously unpleasant. does smell like marshmallows. So, um, I think we can safely say, 
I, I am perfectly happy going out on a limb saying this is in fact the dumbest, most worthless, stupid idea for a gun ever actually marketed. And I think it's one saving grace is that occasionally it doesn't actually work and that saves you the punishment on your shoulder. So if you want one of these because they look like this, then be my guest, go for it. If you're looking for a shotgun that actually has any practical utility whatsoever, this is not your gun. Thanks for watching guys. We'll be back tomorrow with, well, I can guarantee you with a much better gun. Thanks for watching.